the tenant, I'm Shadow Scythe, and what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going over the new augments that came out for Titania, Nidus, and Harrow. Now, I'm not going to be going over all of them in this video. They will each have their own represent respective videos so that I can focus specifically on the one that I want to talk about. Which, as you guys can probably guess, this one is going to be Titania. And before we even get into it, I already understand that I'm a bit late to the party in terms of these augments have been out for, what, like two weeks now, basically? Weeks, some shit like that. And I'm just now doing my reviews on them. I have, I'm not gonna lie, I have been very distracted with Monster Hunter World. If you've heard anybody who's pl who streams it or plays it often enough talk about it i have to agree with them if you start playing it it will consume your life and it that's basically what it has done to me which is why i actually have not played it the past couple of days because i've been wanting to get back into this so we are going to go up to the simulacrum because it it's going to be a lot easier to test this out in an environment basically created to test weapon builds and all that other shit. So let's cap our energy. Let's... Just for shits and giggles, we're going to spawn Ancient Disruptors. We're going to put about... 10 of them in and let's put them in at about now we're not putting this against max level because this is to test out a build not weapon effectiveness and in all reality you're not gonna fight shit that's level 150 on a regular day-to-day -day basis Unless you're one of those people who's literally running, uh, like, 60-plus wave defense missions or, like, hour, one hour plus survival missions. So let's put this in at about 60. Simulate. Now, the way that this is supposed to work is you don't get the boost of attack speed and movement speed until you cast an ability. As you can see, this is my normal speed. I'm gonna cast this. And it just increases each time you spam an ability. But if you're like me, whenever you play Titania, you play her for tactical positioning while in Razor Wing. So you're not, like, you'll get your buffs to start with, but after that, you like, say there's a cluster of enemies, like, right here, and you're t you've got a team, like, say, right around here that's keeping focus, then what you'll do is you'll drop into Razor Wing, let your razor flies distract them, and you'll flank around either side or even behind and just go nuts. So, if, you, if you're like me and have that kind of playstyle with Titania, where you're not gonna spam your abilities while in Razor Wing, this augment is just a piece of hot garbage. Because that's literally all it is about is spamming your abilities in Razor Wing to increase your movement speed and your fire rate. Like, here's the build. It's practically identical to the build that I normally use. Which is an extended duration build with Razor Wing Blitz as the augment. 
Flight speed increased by 25% and fire rate increased by 25% for 8 seconds when using abilities stacks up to 4 times. But once again, that is very dependent on ability cast while in Razor Wing. Whereas, if you're using the extended duration build that I normally use for Razor Wing, then what's pretty much going to happen is you're going to get your buffs up, you're going to drop into Razor Wing, and occasionally you're going to refresh those buffs. But you're not going to be spamming your abilities because you want that energy to stay in Razor Wing as long as possible. Pretty much just so that you can keep drawing enemy aggro and freeing up your teammates to do other shit. And... Before some of you are going, oh, you're just basically saying the same shit that DK or some other people have said. I have seen the thumbnail for DK's video about Titania's Augment. I have not watched the video myself, so for the most part, I don't have a fucking clue what he said. So, just don't go saying that I'm basically ripping my opinion off of what other people have said. Because when it comes to stuff like this, I don't watch anybody's videos on it until I've used it, or until I've done my own. Kind of just so that I can see other people's opinions with it. Kind of like how oh, the whole thing with the lens. If any of you guys, if any of you guys remember a while back when the lens came out. Pretty much every other content creator on YouTube absolutely love that weapon i fucking hate it i mean the planes of eidolon has kind of given me a redeeming factor with it but for the most part i still fucking hate the lens i will never use it unless i am in the planes and it's just I put a lot of time into that weapon, hoping that it was going to make it better, and just, that that's not how it turned out, and it's basically like this augment. I mean, yes, I can, using a high, using a weapon with a high rate of fire like the Baza, already helps out with the fire rate, so it actually makes using this augment viable. But if you're one of those people who's doing, like, sortie missions with her, and it's, say, like, a Lephantis assassination, or you're running a weapon with a slow rate of fire, like a shotgun, because you want this to hit, like, a truck, and not, like, a, uh, dandelion blowing in the wind, so to speak, then you're not gonna want this augment, especially against a boss, because it's... It's not it's not good for boss fights. Cuz you're going to have to spam your abilities which 90% of the bosses in the game are immune to. With what the exception of certain CC abilities like Nova's molecular prime, Equinox's peaceful provocation with the augment um yeah, they're not even affected by Limbo's stasis. They will take damage from Cataclysm, but stasis will not affect the boss. So, yeah, I mean, I can see the positives with this augment. There are definitely a few, like, if it's just a general exterminate or capture or just something where there's going to be a large clusterfuck of enemies 90% of the time... This augment will be really good just because you can basically cast abilities once or twice and just mow them over with your uh, Dexpixia. But if it's going to be like a long, drawn-out mission, this mod is going to have a lot of fall-off. Because it's going to get to the point where your abilities aren't doing shit, it's going to get to the point where your weapons aren't doing shit, and God forbid it's a boss fight, because then your abilities are going to be worthless, and this augment isn't going to do anything. So, 
this augment is definitely a hit or miss depending on the mission type in my eyes you guys might think differently but that's the beauty of myself and any other content creators doing videos like this is we're putting our opinion out there for you guys to feel free to either agree with us or try it out for yourself where you might not agree with us that that's basically a large chunk of the content creation for this game is just us putting our opinion out there on something and if you feel like we might be wrong in your eyes you can test it out for yourself and who knows it might work better for you than what myself or another content creator might have envisioned depending on our opinion there's a lot of people who didn't like my opinion on the lens but hey more power to them if they really like the weapon it's not something that fits my playstyle, so it's not something that i will ever use on a regular basis but once again i will pull up the build because it does it does have its well yeah, it does have its pluses. Just for shits and giggles now, let's crank this up to the max level. Oh. Pfft. Hit one on my keyboard twice like a fucking idiot. I'm going to recap my energy, and I'm probably going to have to... Nope. Good. Simulate. Now, obviously, against the infested, it's doing wonders because you're literally just ripping apart fleshy targets. That is... And with these being disruptors, they only have... Yes, they grant bonus armor to one another. But once you start dropping them, that armor just... It... It just disappears. Like, you can see how fast that I can tear through them. But once again, all of this testing was on Infested. Let me show you the difference between Infested and something that actually has armor. So let's get rid of these. I totally forgot that I can spawn an Ambulus. But let's go to the Grenier because they actually have armor we're not going to do a bombarder commander let's grab just your run-of-the-mill heavy gunner we'll put 10 of these guys in at the same level that i just tested Oop. And you can already see damage fall off. That's two simultaneous ability casts, and the only reason as to why those are pretty much gonna die is because of them flying off the map. Of course, like I said before, there is no way you're gonna fight stuff at this level on a regular basis, so let's clear them out. Drop it back down to the level I was testing it at. And we'll simulate. Now, it's doing fairly well, but once again, these are enemies that you can actually run your abilities against. Plus, my Baza actually has some time put into it, so it's a fairly strong weapon. Ooh, I almost launched myself off the map because of that speed. And in terms of that bonus attack speed, 
yes, it is a very good augment for cranking up your attack speed because it lets you dish out a shit ton of damage a little bit faster. But the main reason as to why this augment is basically trash in my eyes is because it revolves around spamming abilities, which is just not something that you're going to do regularly in Razorwing. I, I've played a lot of Titania when she came out. I've played with a lot of people who have played a lot of Titania. Not once have I myself ever really spammed her abilities in Razorwing, nor have I seen other people do it. The most ability basic that I've seen spammed is her second ability, and it's been to renew buffs. That's pretty much the extent of it so on a rating of one to five this augment gets a two in my eyes because it is good but it's very unnecessary so if you guys like this video for whatever reason hit that like button and subscribe if not I'm sorry for bagging on the augment that you guys really like but it's not my cup of tea it does not fit my play style with titania if it fits yours that's great if if not and you agree with me more power to you like like i've been saying this entire video this is my opinion you are free to agree or disagree at your own discretion just because i don't like it doesn't necessarily mean that it really isn't good it's just not good for my play style. So with that being said, be sure to follow me on uh, Twitter for all things related to Twitch, YouTube, or any sort of other IRL derp that could be causing a delay or a cancellation. Feel free to steer your friends this way and see if they actually like the content that I make. I'm always looking to expand the channel, and any feedback from you guys is greatly appreciated. As long as it's not feedback such as, Oh, you think this augment's a piece of trash, you're just fucking retarded. Because, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've gotten... I have gotten some feedback similar to that, and for the most part, I've ignored it. But... Constructive feedback is something that content creators always look for, but feedback like that where you're just being pretty much an ignorant douchebag, nobody's looking for that because it's not going to change anybody's opinion, and it's not going to change how... It's not going to change how a content creator does their stuff if they're doing something that you happen to not like. If they're doing something you don't particularly like, leave a suggestion in the comment box. Don't do something like that. Because I've seen it on my channel, I've seen it on other channels. It's, like I said, this is pretty much just a matter of opinion. And that's what it comes down to, is try it for yourself and see if you agree with us or if your opinion differs. That being said, until next time, Tano, stick to the shadows.